Dear students, today is start problem number 5, exercise 9.4 in chat book, class 12, differential equation. So, problem number 5 is variable separation, how to separate variable. So, this is one problem we consider. Uh, for each of the differential equation in exercise 1 to 10, find the general solution. And here given... Uh, one problem is given, we have to solve this problem by using variable separation. Now, the problem is that solution, we are rewriting this since e to the power x, e to the power minus x dy minus e to the power x e to the power minus x dx equal to 0 this one is given now we taking this one on right hand side e to the power x plus e to the power minus x dy taking right hand side e to the power x e to the power minus x dx this one. Now this implies dy equal to we divides this one by e to the power x e to the power minus x because here dy given here dx given dx dx with x and dy with y this is disturbing us so we divide this on both sides e to the power x e to the power minus x by e to the power x e to the power minus x dx so this is the complete separation of variable here dy is single and here dx and in terms of x we get now we know a formula integration f dash x by fx dx this equal to log modulus of fx plus c fx plus c so we know this formula if if we differentiate fx we get f dash x if differentiation of denominator given in numerator and side is log of denominator so if we differentiate this then we get e to the power x and this is minus e to the power minus x this one so we integrate this we get e to the power x minus e to the power minus x e to the power x e to the power minus x dx if we differentiate this then we get numerator if differentiation of denominator given in numerator answer is log of denominator so if we differentiate we, we get this so this is fx this one f dash x so integration dy means y and this will be log modulus of e to the power x e to the power minus x minus x plus c and this is our answer very nice answer we can consider this one equal to denominator equal to u also also you can get same result this is the solution problem number 6 in problem number 6 given dy dx equal to 1 plus x square 1 plus y square now this is variable separation uh, we can write in this way dy by 1 plus y square 1 plus x square into dx so this is xy mix up y taken here and dx is here then we get dx with x dy with y now we integrate both sides if we integrate both sides then we get we get this if we integrate both side this will be direct formula dy by 1 plus y square integration this is 10 inverse y and integration dx we can write in this way dx and this is x square dx 
this implies tan inverse y dx means x and x square means x cube by 3 plus c and this our final answer answer is this one it's also a variable separation problem number 7 y d log y dx equal to x dy so here dx we get y and dy we get x this and this two these two are disturbing us now we separate the variable uh, this one y uh, y log y solution y log y dx okay, minus x x dy given so this is uh, y log y dx equal to x dy and this one dx by x dy by y log y we get this so this will be uh, we taking this one left hand side dy y log y and this is dx by x and we integrate both sets if we integrate this then we can write this is 1 by log y 1 by y dy and this is dx by x means log x let this log y equal to z log y equal to we consider u or z if we differentiate both sides with respect to y then we get this is 1 by y dy multiplying left hand side we get du so 1 by y dy equal to we get du this implies 1 by log y means u and 1 by y dy means du this is log x and du by u this is log u log x plus log c you consider because both are log log answer also constant also you consider log now log u in logarithm e plus given we write into log x c this plus means we write into and this implies u equal to x c and u our consideration actually u not given in our problem u means log y so this is log y equal to cx this one and y equal to e to the power cx so this is our answer y equal to e to the power cx this is the final answer consider this problem this is also variable separation solution x to the power 5 dy dx equal to minus y to the power 5 so this implies x to the power 5 dy equal to minus y to the power 5 dx but actually dy with x dy with y and dx with x we have in the form of this dx with x dy with y but here y is in uh, in the in with dx and x with dy so this is not possible to solve so we divide this one this side and this one this side dy by y to the power 5 and this is dx by x to the power 5 and taking in left hand side 
dy by y to the power 5 plus dx by x to the power 5 this equal to 0. Now we integrate this both side integrating but we know this integration formula integration dx by x to the power m then this is minus 1 by m minus 1 x to the power m minus 1 plus c we get this so integration dx by x to the power m equal to minus 1 by m minus 1 x to the power m minus 1 plus c so this is m means 5 minus 5 minus 1 y to the power 5 minus 1 minus 5 minus 1 x to the power 5 minus 1 equal to we consider c1 and this is minus 1 by 4 y to the power 4 minus 1 by 4 x to the power 4 equal to c1 is a is an integrating constant this implies multiplying both side by minus 4 1 by y to the power 4 1 by x to the power 4 equal to minus 4 c1 if we multiply by minus 4 we get this one so this implies y to the power minus 4 x to the power minus 4 and we consider c where c equal to minus 4 c1 and this implies x to the power minus 4 plus y to the power minus 4 equal to c and this is the final answer x to the power minus 4 plus y to the power minus 4 equal to c this is the answer dear student these are very nice solution and very easy just you have to remember when you have to, you get this type of problem you have to remember dx with x dy with y then we can integrate this and we can easily integrate this and ultimately we get our we will get our result so so if these types of problems are very easy you are feeling easy then please like this video and if you are new in my channel and subscribe my channel also and click the bell icon thank you